next in entertainment, the mayor's soiree. When the live orchestra plays right behind you, you can give 10 times more energy. You're watching Rogers TV Brampton. In entertainment, Hollywood came to Brampton over the weekend and had the Brampton Symphony Orchestra dancing with the stars. First Locals' Morgan Bargent has more. With so many talented dancers, vocalists and musicians, Mayor Susan Fennell's Symphony Soiree Bolero and other Hollywood classics delivered all the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, including some dancing stars. Incredible. Dancing with the CD track, it's one thing. It doesn't matter how great the music is. When the live orchestra plays right behind you, you can give 10 times more energy and feelings to the audience. And I think that's what it's all about, exchange of energy between performer and dancer in this case, musicians who are sitting a little bit behind and audience in front, so it's a constant exchange of energy. Fellow Bolero dancers Christian and Anya agree. You feed off of the audience as well, but you definitely feed off of your partner, so it's, it's, it's being aware of yourself, your partner, and, and those around you. So. Yeah, we, we travel a lot, and, and it's always with everything hectic around us. Uh, we're always looking forward to the actual performance, to the 45 minutes or an hour, whatever the show uh, is, because it really is just about that, and everything else goes away. So it's, you know, and then, you know, back to reality as soon as the lights go back on. Producers Myra and Emmanuel Pacheco put as much passion and energy into the event as the dancers do. I think tonight will be really interesting because we're going to bring something really different. Dance to orchestra in Brampton here at the Rose Theatre, uh, you know, something that's not really done very often. And, uh, you know, we're, so, we're hoping that everybody really enjoys it as much as I do. The Mayor's Symphony Soirees not only kick off the BSO season, but give residents the opportunity to enjoy and support the arts. <laughs> It was uh, the right thing to do to invest in the arts. It's good for Brampton. It's good for people. Arts sophisticate your city. And to have uh, the more exposure we can have to the Brampton Symphony or the Brampton Concert Band and all of the great talent we have here in the city of Brampton, I, I challenge anyone to tell me why it's worth driving into another city to enjoy a symphony. Not necessary. You have first-class symphony and talent right here. Dancers Pasha and Anya say that it was fortunate that they ended up together. We actually started back in Russia, and in Russia we didn't have a choice. Our coach actually put us together. She and said, you're going to uh, dance together. He didn't want to dance with me, but I really wanted to dance with him. So. And 11 or 12 <laughs> years later, here we're still dancing together. Together, yeah. So we I enjoy. It worked out. Definitely. They don't just think they can dance. It's an understatement to say that they definitely can. In Brampton, Morgan Bargent, First Local.